Hey, quilters, I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Emily, AccuQuilts Community Engagement Specialist. I'm so happy to be here with you on a Tuesday while Erica's on vacation. I know, well earned, and we're glad that you're with us today. <laughs> Quilters, um, we want to welcome you to our launch party called Wild and Free. Today we are launching June's exclusive dye to try, the Go Deerhead dye. I have been super excited about this dye ever since we started talking about it. Me too, Pam. The Go Deerhead dye is great for quilters who love applique and are looking for more projects with an outdoorsy theme. All right, let's not wait any longer. Let's see our newest dye to try. The Go Deer Head Dye will bring a sense of coziness to any home, cabin, or outdoor space. This magnificent applique dye is a great way to use up scraps and is even fat quarter friendly. You can cut up to four layers of pre-fused fabric, depending on the fabric used, in just one pass through any Go Cutter to produce a perfect shape every time. From vibrant hues to warm wool, you can use any color, pattern, and a variety of fabrics to craft a unique look. This dye allows you to create a themed kitchen with oven mitts and hot pads, or deck out your barbecue master with a grilling apron and towel. You will leap at the chance to make pillows, wall hangings, and so much more. This dye pairs well with the Go Square 8-inch finished and the eight inch cube, but it's also great with the Go Santa stocking for a festive holiday or the Go Northwoods medley for a cozy cabin decor everyone will be fond of. In addition to this amazing shape, you'll receive a gorgeous pattern and downloadable embroidery designs, a $22 value at no extra cost to you. The project ideas used in this dye are endless because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. All right, quilters, working with this new dye has been so inspiring. That is so true, Pam. With the Go Deerhead dye, quilters won't have to try to cut out this graceful shape by hand. Right, and it pairs so well with our larger Go Cube mix and match sizes and our Go Squares that um, are bigger as well because the shape cuts under eight inches. Oh, perfect. All right, closers, let's get this dye to try and launch party started. As always, we've planned a lot of fun with great prizes, great prizes, exciting project ideas, an inspirational trunk show, and special bundles just for this launch. We'll also be joined today by Vicki Parrish and Marianne Fontana, who will be providing more inspiration on how to use the Go Deer Head Dye with the stunning projects they've made. I'm so sure our experts will have some wildly great ideas to share with us later. <laughs> All right, quilters, here come the deals. We've put together very special bundles so you can pick up the great new dye to try and start your next project as soon as possible. To get your order in during the show, use your phone's camera to capture this QR code here and go right to the site. And if you don't have a QR reader, no worries. Just open a new tab in your browser, type in acuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your orders. That way you won't miss a minute of our show today. First up, we have the Go Deer Head with Mat Bundle. You'll get the Go Deer Head Dye, a six by 12 cutting mat, along with the Deer head embroidery designs. This $97 value can be yours for $59.99, saving you over $36. Our next bundle is the Go Deer Head Medley Bundle. You'll receive the Go Deer Head die, and one of my all-time favorite dies, the Northwoods Medley die, the eight and a half inch square, which finishes to eight inches, and two cutting mats, 10 by 10 and six by 12. You'll also receive the embroidery designs for the Go Deer Head die and the Northwood Medley die. This bundle is valued at $254. You can grab it today for $153.99, saving you over $99. Wow, that's awesome. We also have the Go Oh Deer Project Dye Bundle. This bundle includes the Go Deer Head Dye, along with that 6x12 cutting mat and the embroidery designs. It also includes the Go Oven Mitt Dye and the Santa Stocking Dye with that 10x24 cutting mat. This $341 value is available for $299.99, saving you over $40. 
cultures, be sure to get your hands on this dye to try it's available while supplies last. And remember, you can only find the Go Deer Head dye on our website. So you definitely want to take advantage of the bundles that we have today. Absolutely. But that's not all. You'll receive free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. when you order when your order reaches $100 or more. Plus, you'll get double reward points when you place your order today. You can use those reward points towards your future AccuCult purchases. Oh, what a great thing. All right, quilters, we know our dyes and fabric cutters are an investment, so AccuQuilt offers fast and easy financing with either installments or split pay options. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. This is such an exciting new dye to add to our limited dye to try collection, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. And I mentioned that the Go Deer Head dye goes with larger mix and match cubes and square dyes, but it also works great with other dyes. All right, so let's take a look here. We're gonna pull this out. Ooh, oh boy, oh boy. I know, I'm excited. All right, so today, let's talk about this Deer Head dye. Awesome. Okay, so first of all, um, Emily, it's on a six by 12, die board so it's going to fit through all of our cutters including our go me Fabulous. you could use it in your studio cutter with the appropriate adapter but emily imagine trying to cut these little pieces out by hand it's insanity yeah it just would <laughs> never ever be accurate right no and you can always use four layers of prefused cotton mm. and we have some here so let's kind of talk about what Prefuse mean? I feel like yeah. you get lots of those questions, I right? I do, and I'm, I'm a little unfamiliar with it myself, so this is a great tutorial to go through. So here we have some cotton fabric, and we have several different kinds of prefuse, or some fusible on our website. I sure do. And it has a sticky back and a shiny um, back that you're just going to attach to the back of your fabric. Mm -hmm. So this one is actually our peel and fuse, which is super cute. Ooh. And so you, you can just peel it right off and see, look, right there, it's sticky. Oh, that's so, so easy. So you can just add it to your fabric. Yeah, we're going to cut with that today. Love that. So prefused means that it has an adhesive on the back. And you want to make sure that you add the adhesive before you cut the shape. Sure. Because sometimes quilters are thinking, well, then, you know, how do I get that adhesive on the back? Sure, okay? absolutely. And once we put adhesive down, we don't have to worry about lengthwise grain. Oh, that's so nice. And do you know how many layers of cotton you could use, Emily? Up to six layers of cotton. And if it's prefused, up to four. Oh, my gosh. Right? Love All that. right, so we're going to use our Go fabric cutter today. We don't often use our Go. We're going to use our Go today. I know, it's fabulous. All and right. we do have that uh, Cut 100 today, which takes $100 off the go oh. and the ready set go excellent all right we'll talk about that in just a second all right so we're going to slide this mat and look at this magic that cuts here oh man i know look i have all those all the tiny little antlers they're so cute i know and i'm going to tell you i would never cut this by hand mm -hmm. ever 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 in a million years okay now this is a really we're going to talk about this later in the show mm -hmm. but once i pre-fuse my fabric i always keep the fabric that I didn't use. Sure. Because we're going to talk some, about some other ways that you could use that. Ooh. Okay. Now we could also cut some other things on here. So um, I have cut out felt. So look at our little felt oh, how deer. Oh, fabulous. Which is fun. And then this one, you know, I talk about craft foam all the time. Mm -hmm. So why we have some here. Let's yeah. cut out a little bit of craft foam. Absolutely. And again, these are things you can find at your craft store. They're really inexpensive, like kids could use them. Absolutely. Oakley's favorite thing to cut with is craft foam. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And I suppose if you wanted to make it like, you know, like a furry deer head, yes. you could totally do that, add some texture to your right. project. Maybe like um, burlap or oh, that something would be like that. Fun. Right? Absolutely. All right. So when I use these thicker fabrics like felt or mm -hmm. crop them, I just cut one shape at a time. Yeah, that's usually okay. wise to get that. And then look at how cut. fast and easy that was. Oh. I can't even imagine trying to cut that. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> and then don't forget, um, you want to talk about the other products we have on our website, right? Absolutely, quilters. Don't forget, we have some great products on our website to help you make the most of your applique dyes, like various fusibles, a stabilizer to go under your background fabric when you do machine applique irons and, and a lot more we do we and we have two different kinds of irons and wool mats and all of those things to help you sure do all right i'm loving it. we're gonna have just deer heads all over the set i'm really excited about it <laughs> all right for today's dive to try launch party we have challenged two experts to dream up projects using the go deer head dye and this was important 
with little or no sewing. Ooh. Right? Or using other applique dyes. Surely. Okay. First up, we have Vicki Parrish. Vicki became a passionate quilter at eight years old when her grandfather taught her how to make quarter inch seams. She's taught quilting to high school students for a few years and always uses the AccuQuilt Go fabric cutting system when helping beginner quilters gain confidence and create successful projects. Yes, we're going to wave it. Vicki. All right, <laughs> next we have Marianne Fontana. Similar to, Mick, uh, to Vicki, Marianne taught herself how to sew at the age of eight and elevated her skills to become a quilter and a textile artist. She teaches AccuQuilt Club, Club uh, classes at her local quilt shop, volunteers for the Giving Doll Project, where they make dolls for those in need of comfort. Oh, Marianne that. is also a Quilts of Valor member who spends her time quilting, creating art, writing, and designing quilts using the AccuQuilt system. We'll say hi to oh, Marianne as well. Marianne. I can't wait to see what dear, lightful ideas uh. our experts come up with. But first, let's give away a Go Deer Head dye to a lucky viewer who registered for today's, today's show. I love that. All right, our giveaways are one way that we can show our appreciation to our viewers who have joined the AccuQuilt community. Oh, I just love sharing our new dyes with our quilters. I do as well. All right, quilters, our first lucky winner of a Go Deer head die is drum roll please Nora A of San Antonio Texas congratulations Nora oh you're gonna love it Cultures, if you're not already, make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms. Yes, we love to share your stories, quilts, and more. In fact, did you know that we share behind the scenes videos on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram? TikTok is kind of your jam right now. Oh, right? yeah, that's, that's my jam. <laughs> they are, and they're so fun. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of those. Absolutely. All right, now, speaking of behind the scenes, I think it's time to check out ideas our experts have come up with. So Vicki, what do you have for us so far? Well, ladies, I was super excited to hear about our new release, the Go Deer Head. I live in the woods of Minnesota, and I was really excited when I was told that my challenge was to do light sew or no sew projects. I have a lot of ideas for you today, um, and there's certainly a lot, of, lot to fawn over with this dye. To begin with, what about this great banner for Father's Day? Adding the deer head made the perfect um, party flair for dad. Next, a gift bag. Super simple. Um, here I just use a piece of paper and decorated this bag. And this would be perfect for a graduate or for dad. Next, I went ahead and tried some leather out and attached it to this leather day timer. I actually think that it makes a really nice change to a plain day timer. I have some other things to share with you as well. Wedding season is just around the corner as well. So here you can see that I decorated um, some farmhouse vases and added the deer. On this one, I went ahead and used heat and bond and it stuck perfectly to this mason jar. On this one, I went ahead and um, also used some heat and bond, but I added a little bit of glue around the flowers to hold it. But I'll, I'm sure you can agree that they're so cute and will make a perfect table decoration. Also, if you were using this at a wedding or a graduation party, what about using some creative foam and adding a table number to it? Or even some initials for that wedding party. I also thought, you know, this is deer. And I don't know about you, but I have a lot of deer in my garden already. So I thought, what about a garden stake? As you can see, I just simply used a Sharpie to write on beets, and this will mark my row of beets in my garden. Then I thought about um, the 4th of July. And so I played around, I cut out a bunch of deer heads, and I played around with them a little bit. And I discovered that if you put them in reverse and lock the horns together, that you almost get a star. And so by using some patriotic fabric, I just love the way that this created a star. I have lots more project ideas for you and I'm gonna go away and I think I have something great in mind for my final project. I'll see you soon. Okay, speaking of 3D effects, I love that day planner. Yes, that was so cute. So creative. That was so cute. And the banner was great, because I feel like, you know, we have the pennant die, yep. and it has those three different shapes, and you could just 
um, make a pennant so fast. Absolutely. All right, later we're gonna ask you to vote on your favorite experts project, so make sure you don't miss the final reveal. Don't forget, quilters, we have fantastic bundles for you today. For quilters who love embroidering their quilts with the fun designs is the Go Deerhead Medley, and its perfect bundle is for you. We also have special deals on the bundles for our recently relaunched Go Emojis die, yes. including the Go Emojis eye mask bundle. This expressive bundle is available at its special introductory pricing through the end of June or up until supplies run out. Now, these are deals you don't want to miss out, quilters. The Die to Try program is one of our most popular products, and they sell out quickly. And we're also offering $100 off the Go Fabric Cutter and the Ready, Set, Go bundle with that code CUT100. So don't forget that Ready, Set, Go has our manual Go machine, our 8-inch cube, our 2.5-inch strip die. Um, a great book by our good friend Eleanor Burns, a dye pick, yes. right? Everything you need, just add fabric. It is a wonderful time to get you started with AccuQuilt, or maybe you want to upgrade from your GoMe. Absolutely. And quilters, don't forget, you'll get free shipping when your order reaches a net total of $100 or more if you live in the contiguous U.S. Plus, you'll receive double reward points when you place your orders today. These points can be used towards your future AccuQuilt purchases purchases. All right, with all these awesome goodies in the bundles, I wonder how Marianne has used them in her Go Deer Hit Die project. Can't Marianne, wait. what do you have for us? Well, ladies, you will not believe what I've been fawning over. Every time I get a new die, especially applique, because I'm not a real applique person, I'm kind of a PC person, I say, okay, what am I going to do? So I always go to the internet for inspiration. And I've pulled out a variety of different inspirational things that touched me that I wanted to make something from. The first thing I did is holiday. And I really like this table runner, and I really like this plaid thing, whatever it was. So I decided to take a fat quarter. I used a holiday fabric. Okay, and I use the two inch snowflake and the larger snowflake. Where is it? There it is down there, the larger snowflake. And I put the large snowflake on one corner and I use the deer applique and I put three of them on the other corner. And you see, I drew little eyes on it. And if you can see, it's sparkly fabric. So it's sparkly. So it's a very elegant dinner napkin that I will finish the edges on. So that was my first project. And I use the two inch and the four inch snowflakes. And the two inch one comes from the mitten style. The next thing I did is I looked around. I said, well, what can I do for wall hangings? And I found a few different things. And I found this really cold fabric that I bought. It was actually a backing fabric that had like an all over design on it. And I used felt and I actually didn't have adhesive felt, so I actually put fusible on the back of the felt and I pressed it on from the back. Uh, to give it dimension, I am going to applique around all of these pieces and I think I'm going to maybe make a pillow or a wall hanging. The next thing I did, I said, well, what if I wanted to make a quilt with the deer? What would I do? And I found a really cool color block design uh, and I said, I always like to mix it up. So I used some jungle fabric. I used the deer head. And then I used the seven and a half inch cut square, the eight and a half inch cut square, and the ten and a half inch cut square. And put them a little wonky and made a block that I can use uh, to sew into other blocks and make a quilt. The last thing I did... Um, is apparel. Now apparel comes in many different forms. You could do hats. I thought the hats were really cool. Uh, as you can see, I decided to make one myself. Uh, and then I also thought that shirts would be kind of cool. So I put an applique on just a regular shirt, the one I was wearing before. Of course, it's a little crooked now. I think it's my shoulders. It's not there. It's <laughs> anyway, I just threw this on. This is a removable one. I like to reposition it. But just the idea, I color coordinated it with the shirt. And then I actually found some leftover fabric. And I used the deer head dye and the small funky flowers for my apparel project. Okay, don't you love what it does to your hair? Anyway, I really like the idea of doing the t-shirts, of doing the hats. You could sew them down. And I said, but you know what? I want something more relaxing. And so I decided I actually did a couple of pillows here and I really like the flowers. Um, so, oh, wait, we're out of time. Wait till you see what I did for my final, uh, which includes a lot of the information I just gave you now. So stay tuned. 
Okay, she is so clever. So clever. Just coming up with all different ideas I can hardly wait. Yeah, me too. All right, quilters, the Go Deer Head die is just the beginning. We have so many projects that you can enhance with using this die. Absolutely. I love the idea of using the deer head with the Santa stocking. How cute would that be with some plaid flannel or maybe wool or felt? Right, so here's one a Santa that we just have uh, cut out, and it totally would be darling with wool or felt, but think about maybe using like buffalo plaid or something like that, <gasps> and then you could put your little deer head here, you could um, applique a name on the top. If you have a cabin and you go to the cabin for Christmas, you all need to be making Santa stockings with deer. And Absolutely. then look, because we have an emoji stock. Oh my god! Okay, just had to throw that in there. I love so that. this would be really fun. You could use, um, you know, some fun uh, fabric here for the kind of fluffy fabric, you Absolutely. know, for the top of the Santa. Or could you imagine using like a tiny little circle from like the flamingo dye's eye to create a little Rudolph nose? There you go. I mean, See? there you go. So many things right there. <laughs> All right, and can we just talk about the oven mitt? All right, okay, so yes. we've been making oven mitts. It was one of our most popular project dyes. I just love it. Think about um, making oven mitts for barbecues and wait till you see in the trunk show the ones we've made using our deer head dye. Absolutely. So for no, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, for those two projects, don't forget our expert showed us with the penance dye. Right. Talk about gift bags, right? Loved those. I did like the vases, which were really fun with the big sunflowers. Yeah, and she made them kind of 3D by adding those mm -hmm. florals on them. Right. So cool. And she used sticky back vinyl. And quilters ask us all the time, like, can you cut it with your dye? And the answer is yes. And Absolutely. there's a die for that. <laughs> All right, tons of no-sew projects. Oh, and don't forget that we have free downloadable embroidery for the deer head as well, making it simple to create all kinds of applique projects for the machine embroidery. Okay. We so also, also have the paid embroidery uh, from our clever friends at V-Stitch Designs. Yep, so let's look at our free ones. Um, this is our motif stitch, which I actually kind of really like with the deer head. Kind of gives it that little three-dimensional look. Absolutely. Um, Erica always says if you're going to wash something, you should always use the blanket stitch. Okay. Because like if you want to put it on a tea towel or an apron or those kind of things, that sure. way it's going to wash really well. Yeah, nice But and for secure. wall hangings, I like this. This is our little blanket stitch. Yeah, Look at how fun cute. this is. Okay, but this is the cutest. So our good friends from V-Stitch who we love <laughs> made the cutest little ones here. Now these are for purchase. Oh. On our website, but look at how darling these are. Their shiny little noses. The shiny little noses and ears. I just think it's great. Unbelievable. All right. All right, now this would also pair up really well with some of our setting squares, right? Absolutely. So it's like so the seven and a half or the eight and a half inch cut ones. But what about blocks made from the eight inch cube, right? Sure. Um, and companion sets for quick and easy quilts or wall hangings. So I have one that's made from the 10 inch cube that we're gonna talk about tomorrow on our show tomorrow. That's I know right. you and I get to come back tomorrow. You know, we'll have a good old time. <laughs> um, so this is the block we're gonna make, you'll see it in a project just now um, here in the trunk show. But don't forget that the cube has eight shapes that work together to make an eight inch finished block. The shapes are the same. We have seven different kinds of cubes, we sizes sure of do. cubes. Yes, we do. And they're based on a two by two. So two rows, two rows and two columns, okay? Mm -hmm. And don't forget that you can get a great effect by applicating onto this piece block, even though it's a basic four patch. So oh, look right here. Oh, so cool. Let's find some. Oh, here we have so many. Absolutely. That we could do. Oh, how cute is that? Right? But you could totally use your eight inch cube, which comes in that ready, set, go. It surely does, it right. surely does. And don't forget about the eight inch setting triangles too, if you wanna set those blocks on point. Right. Um, that, like, like Pam said, that eight inch mix and match cube comes part of the ready, set, go, which yeah, it's a great value today, right? Right. Um, use that cut 100 and it's yes. gonna ship free if you live in the contiguous US. It surely will. All right, um, now a go cutter, it has an eight inch cube or two and a half inch strip die, two mats that you need a book by our good friend Eleanor Burns, and a die pick. Truly, the Ready, Set, Go is the perfect way to get started with the AccuQuilt system. Just add fabric. Completely agree, I have it myself, guys. Yes. <laughs> I love all these ideas, but you had a little trick up your sleeve that you wanted to share, didn't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
yes, everyone is reminding me of this. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna grab my little scissors. Okay, mm -hmm. now the go deer head dye is lovely with its little antlers, right? Mm -hmm. Um, which means it's a buck. But what if you wanted to make a little girl deer? Take off the antlers. Right, so we could just come right here and trim it. Okay. Oh. I know, and we sell our little Karen K. Buckley scissors on our website, so. Those are fabulous scissors. I have the yeah. green ones, they're super yeah. sharp. So we could even put it down farther and then we would just have a little dough, okay? Oh, a little dough. A little dough. Oh, how sweet is she? I know. Look at how fun that is. Oh, lovely. Okay. So lots of ways to make them different. And that's the great thing about applique shapes, right? Is that yeah. you can add more shapes to it. Um, you could totally um, give her little eyelashes. Yes, that's so creative. I love that idea. I absolutely love the idea. And if, if you want even more AccuQuilt tips and inspiration, visit our blog, guys. We, have, we share quilting stories, tips, and exclusive project tutorials that you'll only find on the blog. Tomorrow's blog post is all about the Go Deer Head Dye and other ways you can use it. Be sure to check it out for more magnificent ideas. Yeah, our team has worked really hard on that. Now, while you're there, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. That way you get notified whenever a new blog goes live. I get little things on my phone saying there is a new blog going live. There surely are. All right, now, listen, there's fabric. <laughs> All right. There surely is. So, Emily, Ooh. do you have kind of a stash at home? I'm starting one, and you were nice enough to give me a piece of purple I grunge did. Did. to get me started. <laughs> we should totally start with this. Well, these are a good friend at Northcut Fabrics, mm -hmm. and they wanted to make this truly a wild and free party, oh, so they pretty. provided us with two lovely selections of fabric to give away. So the fabrics are the same, but look, Emily, so here's oh. the black and the blue and these cream, and this is actually fabric that is used in one of the upcoming projects in the trunk. Oh, shop. how fun. And it's actually just yardage, which I just love. But this gray, I have so many things I could do, like right today with this gray. I love that. Okay, but we will give it away. Yes, I think the we should announce our winner. The okay. winner of the first selection of fabric is, drum roll please, Linda R. of Blackstone, Massachusetts. Congratulations. Congratulations. And the second winner of a selection of fabric is, drum roll please, Bonnie G of Lothrop, California, congratulations. And a huge shout out to our friends at North Park Fabric for yes. providing today's uh, fabric and sponsoring today's show. That's Isn't that fun? Huge oh. thank you, those are so fun. All right, quilters, we're gonna be asking you to vote soon on your favorite experts project. Stay close by to find out which project received the most love. Well, let's reveal today's final projects. I wonder what our experts have come up with. Vicki, what do you have? Hi everyone, I'm back with the big reveal. So when I was playing around, I had a lot of scraps left over. And so I began to think of what I could use with these. They were already fused and I wanted to, um, you know, use some of them up. I also had this from cutting out some creative foam. So what I thought is collage quilt. And so what I did is I started by having a base structure, placing my creative foam down and tracing. And then I went ahead and cut up some scraps to do my collage. Now, let me show you the project. This is Go Deer in the Woods. And as you can see, I used the Northern uh, Medley to cut out the trees. I had this um, laser cut, uh, cut out of the state of Minnesota. Of course, you could put whatever you want. And then I had this frame that you could pick up at any of your favorite craft stores. As you can see, the deer is done in collage and it gives a great 3D effect. I really hope that you enjoy this. It was a lot of fun and I think um, will be a great addition to any wall. That is super cute. So cute. I love the use of the Northwoods medley dye. Yes. Yes. So cute. And she talked about making a collage um, block for her deer and in a few minutes we're going to show you how to make one of those. I was going to say I've never seen one before. Yeah. I'm excited. Yep. And all right, so Marianne, what do you have for your final project? Okay, quilters, this is my final reveal. I decided I wanted something comfy, so I made a super large boudoir pillow. And what's really cool about it is I used the deer head and this is the original one just right to here and I made extra sets of antlers to make it really big. I used the small funky flower. I used two of the hearts from the um, Queen of Hearts. I used some of these 
petals from the, uh, what is it? Simple shapes from the uh, it's five five one seven seven. I used a little funky flower, the small one, and I just like the way it came out. And then I did put out see, I put a little flower here. I did put the eyes on the deer too, and I put four extra set of antlers on it so she really looked beautiful. And I made her the size of a standard size pillow with a fold in the back so I can use it on my bed. I can use it on the couch. I could use it on a chaise. And anytime I want to relax after a busy day of quilting, and I call her my dear heart pillow. I hope you like her. Oh, she's, she's sweet. Charming. Okay, now we're going to give Marianne a little creative licensing there because we know that female deers don't have antlers. Exactly. But it's darling. It really is. And I thought it was really a great way to use up a lot of different scraps that you might have with Absolutely. the Queen of Hearts and the flowers and all of those kind of things. Fun use of a lot of great dyes. <laughs> all right, quilters, experts have given such great inspiration, and I don't know how our viewers are going to choose their favorite. Me either. <laughs> Voting is now open, so let us know which expert project was your favorite. If you're watching via the registration link or on YouTube, you can click the vote block box that is below or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching via Facebook, vote from the box that displays over the video. There you go. And remember, since this is a Die to Try launch party, we've put together very special bundles for you, bundles for you quilters, including the Go Oh Deer Project Die Bundle, which is filled with plenty of other great dies to pair with the Go Deer Head to make different themed projects. You'll get everything you see here and save over $40. Now, since the Go Deer Hut die is a die to try, it's exclusively available at AccuQuilt.com, and we have limited supplies. Quilters, be sure to check out our overstock page for great items that are currently marked down. This is a wonderful way to get yourself to that free shipping threshold of $100 or more if you live in the contiguous U.S. Yes, yes. Plus, you'll receive double reward points when you place your orders today. These reward points can be used towards future AccuQuilt purchases. Perfect. Okay, so we saw Vicki make a collage version of the Go Deer Head, which totally inspired me to take a dip, deeper look at like different ways we could make that. I love that. Vicki took her pre-fused scraps, cut them down, and laid them out on the deer, almost like making a new piece of fabric. Right. Now, here's how I would do that um, to get really clean edges on my deer head shape. So here's what I've done. I've taken a plain piece of fabric and I cut it basically as big as the die, mm -hmm. you know, um, just a quarter of an inch bigger all the way around the sides. Sure. Then I would use this as my base, right? And then I took my fabric scraps, I peeled off the back, and these were actually ones that I ironed down, right? Okay. But this is one that we use today. So here, let's get our scissors, okay? Perfect. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add to that. Okay. This fusible is so easy. Right. I mean, okay. let's. And kind of, and what I see, I want to make sure that I have fusible on all of the fabric, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to come here. Okay. Now look, see right here? Oh, it didn't it have didn't. any. Yeah. So watch this. There's this, this is like TV magic. I'm just going <gasps> to cut it right off. Wow. Right? It's magic. It is magic. <laughs> okay. And then I have a little bit of um, little kind of glue here. Sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm <gasps> going to roll it right off. Oh my gosh, look how easy that is. Listen, you should hang with me because this is so easy to use. And it's on our website. It sure is. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay? All right. So now that I've pulled off my little glue that's extra, okay, and I just wanted to make sure that it was as big as my your head, right? Yes. Now I can just take my cutter. We'll get our go up here again. Absolutely. $100 off with the cut 100 today. There we go. <laughs> okay. See? Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up, making sure that I get the, um, I'm going to, I'm going to turn it a little bit. Oh, okay. See what I mean? That's right. Because so, you don't need to li line it up with the, the no, die, it's the to, blades. Right, and you don't have to worry about lengthwise green either, mm -hmm. right? Because 
uh, we're using our fusible on it. Yeah, absolutely. And couldn't you also use a die to cut your scraps? Maybe like the small flower on the Go Funky Flower die or oh, yes. some, the small leaf um, and circle shapes on the Go Simple Shapes by Adidas Sitar. Absolutely. And I think that's kind of what Marianne's concept was as well, is that she just, you know, used her fabric. So you can totally make some really interesting designs. And look at this. And, okay, look, I have one thread here. Don't pull so your threads. So we've got our perfect scissors. Yeah. Oh, look at those. Yeah. So I'm going to just come right here. And I'm never, ever going to just yank that out. I'm yeah. always going to snip it with my one scissor. <gasps> so look at how cool that is. How cute. I know. Isn't that really fun? So okay. fun. And remember, we have, um, there's this great saying that says, if your fabric is ugly, you just haven't cut it small enough yet. <laughs> okay, so use our Fuse and Stick product, and that's great for this technique, because you can totally just get these tiny little small pieces, add it to little pieces of fabric. Mm -hmm. And remember, like I said, I just keep all of my little pre-fused pieces together. Yeah. Because maybe later I want to use this for leaves when it's, you know, fall time or that Absolutely. kind of Absolutely. No, that would be perfect. I love that. What about what about fussy cutting your fabric? Oh, there are tons of popular ways to fussy cut your fabric. Think about using like florals and prints that way as well. All right, and you could also fuse the shapes onto the deer head that have already been cut. So let's say we have one here and we have little flowers. We could just add little flowers to our deer head oh. or add them around. That would be um, so sweet. It's just really lots and lots of different ways you can use it. I just I think that. it's so fun. That's fabulous. Well, this sounds like a really fun technique to try out. This show is giving me so many ideas. Okay, this happens to Eric and I every single week. <laughs> All right, now while everyone is getting their votes counted and in, um, let's show off some fun and inspiring new patterns that are available here uh, using our Go Deer Head Dye. All right. Miss, Miss Lynn, Lynn is here. <laughs> Lynn. Lynn, what are Hello. you doing here? <laughs> oh, I forgot my spatula. Oh, I was at yes. a barbecue she... and I just thought I'd stop by. <laughs> oh, look at you wearing this super cute yeah, apron. Yeah, isn't this great? Look at this. All right, well, now that you're here, we can get our trunk show started. Okay. okay, so this is one of the great projects right here. And this is the, I'll just set those down. Love this it. This is the coordinating that goes with oh, it. Oh, yes. yes. This is the Go Oh Dear barbecue set by Mitzi Red of Red Homestead Washed Wood Fabric Collection by Benertex Fabrics. Yes, and I love this washed wool. Isn't Absolutely. that wonderful? And this is one of the projects that's on our website right now. Uh, producer Joe wore it. So yes. we want to know who it wore it better, Lynn or <laughs> Joe. Okay. All right, I like this a lot. Yeah, it's super yeah and fun. these have it has great pockets too. Oh which is gosh. Such, it's such a great and little And it's nice uh, and long. It is. Mm. It's wonderful. Okay. And then that. these I think are together with it as well. This right. oven, lovely oven mitt. Right. And then the uh, little hot pad. Hot pad. So sweet. And this is just that sticky back vinyl that you can just buy and cut, only cut one layer at a time, Coulters. Yes. And then she just stitched around it. Yeah, what a I quick and easy great. project. Yeah. yeah. Gives Wonderful. it some dimension too, the stitching. So much fun. I love it. All right. Next we have the Go Hideaway Haven Pillow by Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Quilting. She used Island Batik Fabrics. And this is the project that we're going to make tomorrow at 12 noon Central Time. Now, notice we used our 10 inch cube, but you totally could use your five inch cube to make sure. these setting blocks that, because the five and the 10 work together. Absolutely. So I just love this project. And Terry did such a great job. She just did some straight stitching. Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, this is another quick and easy project that you, mm -hmm. could, you could make on a weekend for sure. Absolutely. And I love how with these pillow patterns, I just want to show the back, it's got the, where you can insert the pillow, but you could also turn it into like a tabletop or, or right. a little wall hanging if you wanted to. Oh, right. how fun. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, I'll, I'll be in charge there. Okay, <laughs> thank you. All right, next we have the Go On Target Wall Hanging by Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Quilting. She used yep. Northcott Fabrics for this. And this is the fabric bundles that we gave away today. Oh, yes. So here are the different colors here. And then Lynn, you, you wanna talk about what the corners? Right, so this is just uh, fun because we've used the 10 inch cube again and right. the angles has that trapezoid that you here. use that 
shape number five with it on right. the corner. Yeah. Typically you would just take half square triangles and sew them together, but I like that Terry used that. And then she used that two and a half inch strip die to create that by, uh, that sashing in those cornerstones. Right, so you get that kind of secondary effect of that um, block in the middle. And the quilting is great because it's just simple, straight, Quilting. Yeah, love yeah. the pops of orange too. Yes. Yeah, looks really <laughs> nice pretty. Color palette. Absolutely. All right, okay. I'll set this down. Okay. Right. I feel like Lynn should have brought us some barbecue wash. I know. I know, right? I'll have to run out. Okay, back. this is hands down my favorite <laughs> of all the projects. This is called Go Into the Woods We Go Throw Quilt by our good friend Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. She used Riley Blake Design Fabric. And is this not so stunning? Adorable. Just And this is cotton. It looks like it could be flannel. You could certainly use flannel. Absolutely. But again, that Northwoods medley. And she just did raw edge quilting around each shape. So you could use our free embroidery downloads, but you could use that as well. Sure could. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I was studying this pattern over there while yeah. I was waiting. And I think it's it's really cool how we've taken the eight and a half inch square and the 10 and a half inch square and you come up with this kind of, you know, usually everything has to match. A stagger. Yeah. yeah, so, and we all agreed that this was a very comfy uh, right. quilt. Oh, yes. Right, you so would definitely snuggly. use this one at yes. the house. After yeah. a long day of barbecuing. That's, yeah. right. That's right. And what's on the back to you, it has cute. Yes, so I'm gonna attempt to fold this correctly, okay. but, um, uh, Marianne must have had an extra deer head, so that's yep. a great use of an extra block, including it on the back. That was so which fun. I think is so cute. And again, uh, whoever said you could make the back not solid, I love that person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said use your scraps of fabric. Absolutely. Right. Okay, I know Lynn always takes her project, but that one might have to go to my house. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Now next up we have the Go Oh Dear Pillow by Gina Jempasa of Gem Hill Quilts LLC, um, using timeless treasures fabric, which is so fun and bright. And, and just. I, oh. And the thing I love about this is Gina also used the kite shape and the trapezoid shape and the signature block. Right. So again, it's not just those half square triangles, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And then this is that secondary look with um, our fabric. I just mm. think it's darling. It really, really is. Right. And many of you are always looking for new ways to use your cubes. And so this is the eight inch cube and it uses the angles and corners because yeah. the trapezoid's Perfect. out of the angles and the signature blocks out of the corners. There you go. That. And yeah. you need shape five. Shape five, yep. right? The sides. The mix and match. And then we just wanted to point out the pretty fabric uh, extends to the back as well. That's gorgeous. Yes. And that eight inch cube is part of the Ready, Set, Go today. So it's a great time to snag that. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely right. Okay. And? And then our last project is called the Go Explore Bench Pillow by our good friend Terry Vandebosch of Lizard Creek Quilting. She used Maywood Studios fabric. And we want to show you this because this is just a really great standard pillow pattern, mm -hmm. right? So it has Pam's pickup, which is why I love it the most, <laughs> and the camper die. But this block over here, you could totally take the flowers off and then applique the deer head. Absolutely. You could do it on this side as well. Right. You could use Northwoods Medley. Yes. It's just really a great bench pillow. It really, really is. Absolutely. And I love how the stitching matches the, the fabric a little bit. It right. kind of just all ties in so nicely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. There you all go. All right. All right. <laughs> now, quilters, don't forget, all of these patterns are free downloads at AccuQuilt.com. Be sure to get your patterns downloaded before your Go Deer Head die arrives so you'll be all ready to go. That's right. Well, these are such fun pieces, and I usually do take them yes. with me. But you know what? Today, since I'm going back to the barbecue, I'm taking this apron Okay. because uh, I just think it's it's wonderful. It's darling. So it's coming home with me. All right. Have all a right. great rest Thanks. of the show. Thanks. And again, <laughs> who wore it best? Lynn or Joe? Okay. <laughs> Quilters, all of our patterns in the trunk show today are available to use in Go Quilt. You can take a photo of your fabrics and enter them into Go Quilt to see what your project will look like before you make your first cut. So nice. You can also use numerous fabric collections from our sponsors, such as Northcott Fabrics, on our Go Quilt, as well as solid colors. Plus, we have thousands of quilt patterns for you to envision your next project. Here's a deeper look to help you get started.
Now, before we go on, let's show our little girl died. We didn't, sh we were so busy cutting, trimming down her antlers. So this is our little doe. She is, is so sweet. Yeah, as compared to our little buck. So yeah, you would just come right here and trim down the little antlers. Perfect, making a nice smooth ear. I know, the things we forget. Sorry <laughs> about that, quilters. All right, quilters, at the start of this year, we introduced our Paint It Forward campaign called Covering the World, One Quilt at a Time. This campaign is a collaboration between AccuQuilt and Moda Fabrics with Baby Lock as our sponsor. Together, one person from each of our teams is donating a quilt each week of 2022 to a charity of their choice. Eric and I are donating the last of the year. Oh, how fun. Last week's donation was made by AccuQuilt go-getter Laura Strickland of Orange Blossom Quilt Design Studio. She designed her quilt with her own pattern that she's making available for purchase on her website in August. Look at this. Oh, wow. Laura used several AccuQuilt dies to make her quilt, including the Go Strip dies and the Go Prairie Star. Do you see the Prairie Star up there? It's stunning. Um, she used Batiks, Hoffman 1895 Batiks, Banyan Batiks, and Mo to Batiks fabrics to make it. Laura donated her quilt to the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center, which provides support to Native women and their children in their mission to end violence against Indigenous women. To learn more about the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center, you can visit niwrc.org. Okay, so right there in the left, it looks like she used our Arkansas Traveler dye, some yes. of that block. Right, and then those great strip dies and beautiful points. I know, my eyes just are going all over the place in this quilt, it's so stunning. I just love it. The all colors, right. oh. So great, good job, Laura. <laughs> well done. Okay, be sure to visit our website for details on how you, our viewers, can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time by going to learn.acuquilt.com slash quilt the world 2022. That's right. And we're drawing prize winners every month this year. Anyone who makes a quilt donates it to a charity of their choice and shares their quilt publicly on Instagram or Facebook using hashtag quilt the world 2022 is eligible for prize drawings. Exactly. Now listen to this. The monthly prizes are valued at $200. $100 oh, in Moda Fabric, so much grunge. And $100 <laughs> in AccuQuilt reward points, so many new dies. Mm -hmm. Let's announce the lucky winner for May. Let's. The lucky winner for May is, drum roll please, Ginger B of Chalfont, PA. Congratulations. Well done, Ginger. Ginger donated her quilt to a local hospital. What a great place to contribute to. Absolutely. Speaking of Quilt the World, be sure to join us again on Tuesday, June 14th at 12 noon Central Time for a new Trunk Show Series event called Threads of the World. Yes, the lovely Erica will be back from vacation and we're going to talk all about our Paint It Forward campaign. Can't wait. This event will explore how far we've come this year with the Quilt the World campaign and the charities that have been donated to. We'll have some amazing guests, including expert Marianne Fontana, Emily Mosier, a representative from the Ronald McDonald House, and Lisa Alexander from our Quilt the World collaborator, Moda. And they're just amazing people. I'm excited to have them. Fantastic. Soldiers, we have lots of special events and fun shows planned for the entire summer. Keep checking our events page so you can register for all of our events to be entered to win door prizes. All right, quilters, we're about to announce today's expert winner in a minute, but first, we're going to give away our final prize for the day. Our second lucky winner of a Go Deer Head die is, drum roll please, Elise G of Charlotte, North Carolina. Congratulations, Elise. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations to all of our winners today. Yes. If you're looking for more fun, be sure to join Emily and I tomorrow at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live on Facebook or YouTube. We're gonna be taking an in-depth look at the Go Deer Head Die. We're gonna make that super fun pillow. I hope to see you there. Be yeah, sure to register now for the chance to win a door prize tomorrow. Absolutely. All right, quilters, the time has come. The team has counted all your votes and it's time Ooh. to announce today's expert winner. Will it be Vicki with her Go Deer in the Woods wall hanging? Or will it be Marianne with her Go Deer Heart Pillow? You voted and decided that our winner is, drum roll please. Vicki, congratulations. congratulations. I've got 
both of our projects oh. were so fun. Absolutely. What a great way to use So it. creative. Well and done. I like that Vicki lives in a state that is tall enough you could put the deer head in it. Exactly. I don't know if you could do it with Nebraska, but uh, we'd find a way. That one was, we'll find a way. There will be a way. Cool <laughs> quilters. The Go Deer Head Dye is June's dye to try. Today, you can get this fantastic dye exclusively at AccuQuilt.com. That's right, and this die has limited quantity available. You're definitely gonna wanna make make sure you place your order quickly to take advantage of today's deals and ensure that you get one. To get your order in now, use your phone's camera to capture this QR code here and go right to the bundles. If you don't have a QR reader, no worries. Just open a tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. Remember, we have three special bundles for you today. The first is the Go Deer Head with Matt Bundle which comes with the Go Deer Head Die, a six by 12 cutting mat, and the Deer Head Embroidery Designs. Our special price for this bundle is $59.99, and if you snag yours today, you'll save over $36 on this $97 value. Next is our Go Deer Head Medley Bundle. You receive the Go Deer Head Die, my, one of my favorite all-time dies, the Northwoods Medley, uh, the eight inch finished square, two cutting mats, 10 by 10 and six by 12, embroidery designs for the Go Deer Head and the Northwoods Medley. This bundle is valued at $254. You can get it today for $153.99, over $99 in savings. And if you live in the contiguous U.S., we'll ship it to you free. We sure will. And then last but not least, we have the Go Oh Deer Project Die Bundle. You'll receive the Go Deer Head Die, a 6x12 cutting mat and the embroidery designs, along with the Go Oven Mitt Die and the Santa Stocking Die with a 10x24 cutting mat that you can get this $341 value for $299.99, saving you over $40. And you'll get free shipping if you live in the contiguous US and your order reaches $100 or more. Plus, you'll receive double reward points when you place your order today. You can use those reward points for future AccuQuilt purchases. All right, quilters, transparency is one of our key values here at AccuQuilt. Our company is facing increases in fuel cost and raw material sourcing for our products. Mm -hmm which we had hoped would be temporary. However, it is here to stay. With that said, there will be product price increases starting next month on July 1st, so that we can continue to offer you the best quality products. Be sure to take advantage of all of our promotion and bundle deals this month. And remember, we have financing options. For more information, visit acucult.com slash financing. All right, Emily, it's time for us to wrap up this wild and free dye launch party. We hope you're as excited about the creative possibilities with our new Go Deer Head dye. Mm -hmm, and thanks so much, quilters, for joining us today. If you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, now is the time. Here's the link right now. We want to make sure you get your Go Deer Head dye before it's gone. And remember, at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.